Akimi Pearl Impregnator. Premium stain protection. Outstanding impregnation. Especially suited for light marble, limestone, and granite. So, we're going to see how this rocks. Um, I love the Nano with the little wine glass of red. Here, it looks like they got some ink or something like that on here. Uh, so, I'm going to do that on this blue side here because the blue matches the blue ink. All right. On the other side here, I'm just going to use a basic sealer. All right, I'm going to use Hydrex. All right, 10X Hydrex. And uh, we're going to see which one works better. I clean both of these uh, both of these pieces with denatured alcohol before we started. This one right here is a uh, Typhoon Bordeaux. It's a granite. This one right here is Mont Blanc uh, Snow Marble. So be careful, don't look at it too hard. You might break it or scratch it. That was a paper towel. So I'm gonna try to just keep this on one side. So put a bit of that on there. So. It's got a smell to it for sure. I'm not going to put it all the way up right there. I'll try to do the same with that Hydrex so you can see an area that has it and that doesn't have it. Right. We just like to look at it at different angles in the light so we can see if we got it all covered. And I think we did pretty good. We got it covered pretty good there, fellas. All right, so let's go ahead while we got this rag wet with this stuff. We're going to go to this one here. All right. We're going to try to rub it in. Try not to get it on the other side. I don't want to cheat. Kind of makes like a little, uh, like a film on it or uh, I don't know, like bubbles. So I'm gonna leave that bare up there as well. And I kinda got it on the showroom top too. I ain't gonna hurt anything, I don't reckon. If anybody spills any ink on it, I reckon it'll be in good shape, won't it? So I got just a drop of it on that side. Just wipe it off. I try to wipe it off and not wipe it in, you know. And I like putting the tape down the center because you can see the areas that don't have nothing in it. But see, I think I got that one pretty good as well. All right, let's put a lid on this in case Tony happens to come back today for some reason. He'll bump into it and knock it over and spill it off. Set this thing down right strong. All right, the big old container of Hydrex. Um, all right, I'm gonna put a card up top there so I don't go too far. I want to leave a space on it too, so I'm gonna use Nate's card. Bam, bam. All right. Gary will probably put something like in front of me about the bands on the video. Uh, uh, I don't know how to hold this and pour this big can. I'm going to try to hold this thing like under my arm, guys. So if it doesn't go well, I'm sorry. Serves me right for making fun of Tony, don't it? I'm going to go ahead and pour some on this one here, too. Ooh. Might have got a little too much on that, but it'd be okay. I'm going to go ahead and try to wipe some of this off of this one. Uh, I didn't get much. A lot of it got on the tape. So I'm going to push it over this way so it falls off of the top onto the top in the showroom and not on the side that's got the impregnator on it because I do not want to cheat and mix these things. 
I definitely know I got plenty of that, so might be cheating by the amount I put on there. Look at running over the sides and everything. Look at all of that. I knew I was gonna make a mess with that. That's all right. It'll be okay. All right. So now I'll just sit here for the next three hours and film this while it dries. guys so uh i'm gonna pause you stop you whatever and we're gonna let this set till tomorrow and uh then i'll wipe it off and uh see how it did give it time to soak in i'll see you guys manana all right guys it's uh now the following morning Anyways, uh, this sealer has had plenty of time to dry. We'll look at it across different lights here. And as you can see, the little bit of a haze that's on here. Uh, so look at the difference in haze on the pearl side versus the uh, hydrex side. I see more of some streaks in the haze on the pearl side than the hydrate side. All right. Let's see. Yeah, the same on this one. It's a little easier to see on the marble, but you can still see it in the light on this one. Same deal. Uh, I got streaks in the haze on the pearl side. So I'm going to get some rags, and I'm going to... Uh, Bust this sealer off, wipe it off, you know, and uh, see what it looks like. All right, since we can see it looking this way, I'm gonna uh, try to film it moving this way. So, you know, this is what we tell our customers, just take a dry rag or a dry paper towel and uh, wipe that sealer off the following morning. All right, guys, I just ran a short with this one. So I'm gonna show you guys on this long form video with this one. I'm gonna pull off this piece of tape here so that we'll have an area that doesn't have any of the sealer or impregnator on it. And I'll be honest, I didn't even see that get wet over here. Now I cleaned both of these sample pieces with denatured alcohol very good before I started the process. Um, unless some of it bled into that little area, uh, I don't know, but uh, that area didn't get wet either. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one as I did on the other one. I'm going to use some of this water with a uh, flavor packet mixed in, probably cherry or fruit punch is what it looks like to me. It's running right up that area. It's actually following that area that didn't have any sealer on it. You see that? That's freaking weird. Look at that. That is flipping weird, man. All right, I was going to wipe it, but it's pretty cool, so I'm going to leave it on there. All right, now we're gonna go with just some clear water up here. Uh, look at it, it's still following that area where I had to take. I don't know why it's doing that. Somebody probably knows why. All right, I'm just gonna give that a second to kind of soak in the stone a little bit. Um, you know, most people when they spill stuff, they wipe it up immediately. But I'm going to be honest, I went to customers' houses either getting a new vanity or for some type of repair or something, and uh, there have been some that do not wipe things up immediately. So take that as you will. 
just think it's weird how it stayed on that one area. Hmm. All right, so this side over here was the pearl. And this side over here is the hydrex. All right, so I got some rags here. I'm gonna start to wipe this thing up. here guys all right guys personally myself I don't really see a huge difference on either one I can see that the stone is a little darker where the uh, tape was that just means there's no protection on it and maybe a little of that water did kind of soak into it to get it wet I guess you can kind of see it come over right here too. I don't know if that's where it soaked in or just ran over the edge or what. Uh, but all in all, I think both uh, the Pearl and the Hydrex did a, a very good job. I know it's just water, but I've done these tests with, you know, chemicals, oil, Mustard, you know, about anything you can think of. And, you know, I think both of these turned out pretty equal. Uh, the Hydrex is a lot, uh, a lot less costly than the Pearl is. Uh, so, you know, if you, if you get equal protection, I, I think, I think the best way to go would be to go with that Hydrex. Uh, So, anyways, guys, that's a, a Kimi Pearl Impregnator. And this is a 10X Hydrex Polished Stone Sealer. So, and I did it on a Mont Blanc Snow Marble and a uh, Typhoon Bordeaux Granite. I appreciate you guys watching it. If you have any questions or comments or anything you would like to see me do a test on, feel free to leave it in the comments and uh, I will, uh, I'll check it out. And if there's something you want me to do a test on, I'll try to get to it. Uh, please bear in mind that, you know, I, I can only do these videos when we get slow periods and things like that. So. Sometimes it takes me a while to get to them, but I will get to them if you ask for them and they're not just crazy. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one.